let's start things off with uh, we are nearing the NBA All Star festivities. So the president declares that blank and blank will be the NBA All Star captains. I'm putting in Steph mm-hmm. and KD. I'm going Steph and KD, uh, respective teams doing doing great things. You know, Brooklyn's had their their drama and things like that this season, but. You know, KD, when he's out there on the court, he, he's, he's been super efficient getting his, his team what they need. And Steph, man, he's having another amazing year. It's, it seems like it's just snowballing from year to year now. Man, you know, it's going to be so weird if that comes true, that LeBron is not a captain <laughs> in an all-star game. I mean, like, I don't remember the last time that's, has, that's happened, but, you know, that, that's how it is. I actually think that you might be right there, Gabe. But now we'll move on to something a bit more controversial. The president declares that, Blank will win the 2021-2022 MVP award. I'm going to go with Steph Curry. I'm, I'm going to go with Steph. I, I think, you know, it's it's time. It's his time again. Uh, my sleeper pick, though, if if Memphis can sneak into, like, that top three. Oh. If Memphis can really? top three. Top three in the West, I, I, I got I got job. That, that means job. Yeah, wow. That's my sleeper yeah. pick. Not even KD. I, I mean, KD's not. He's not going to surprise anybody if he wins. Yeah. KD, Giannis. I, I think if they, you know what I mean, if they have the consistent year that they've been having so far, it wouldn't be a surprise. But my my surprise pick would be would be Ja if they can make that happen. Sure, sure. I I, I dig it. I dig it. Yeah. Next yeah, one. For it. The president declares that this team blank will finish as the number one seed out in the East. I'm going to stick with Chicago. I, I think in terms of regular season and, and what they have, I think they had a lot of their COVID stuff that's already passed them. So I feel like, you know, in terms of I'm no scientist, but I'm just mm-hmm. assuming that they should be, you know, he- healthy and safe throughout the course of the the course of the regular season. You know, DeMar, Zach Levine, Vucevic, who hasn't been completely consistent, but still is always a threat out there. Their bench is stepping up. I, I think Chicago uh, in terms of the East. Yeah, I think Chicago is a safe bet. Uh, of course, uh, Nets fans would uh, take offense to that, and I'm sure other fan bases will say otherwise too. But then now let's move out west. The president declares that Blank will finish as the number one seed in the East, in the West, rather. In the West, man, tough. this is another tough one. This is another tough one because who's number one in the West right now? The Warriors. Oh, is it the Phoenix? Or the Warriors? I'm Phoenix. Check that. Is it Phoenix? Because I feel like, I mean, you got Clay coming back. The Warriors, I think so the, the Warriors, Suns. The Suns are number one with 30 and 8, and the Warriors number two at 29 and 9. Yeah, I mean, the defending West champs aren't getting a lot of respect, but the Warriors, man, I, I feel like they could definitely make it happen. Clay, get them back healthy, Wiseman, it, it should be interesting. Yeah, you think the Warriors are going to get, yeah, maybe, maybe. Carla, <laughs> I feel like you want to say yeah, I will not game. disagree with Gabe Norwood. What's wrong with you, man? <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah, but it's it's crazy. Uh, just to bring out the old quote of, of Coach Yang before when he said, you're only as good as your last RT-PCR test. And it feels <laughs> that that's going to be uh, the situation here, especially with all the standings here. Only two Thank games you. separate uh, first and third. So, yeah, Thank it's going to be strange there. Whichever team gets the best 10-day players will probably be the number one team. It, it could come down to that. Yeah, I agree. Is, their 10 days look good right now, so it, it could definitely go either way. So, Gabe, you said that it will be Golden State as a number one seed in the West and Chicago for the number one seed out East. But now the president declares that blank and blank will meet in the NBA Finals. Man, I'm gonna go. I'm gonna stick with the Warriors. I think. I think they they're they're ready to kind of reclaim their their throne there in, in the West. But I mean, on paper, you can't go against. I don't see how you go against the Nets. A healthy Nets team, um, even with Kyrie playing every other game, that puts pressure on playoff series. You know, you can't play in, in the games at home. But you know, I, I think Brooklyn healthy. Hopefully, I think that's what everybody wants to see—a healthy Brooklyn team in the finals. But um, yeah, between the Warriors, it, it could be fun to watch. You know, ironically, that would mean that you would have the healthiest Kyrie has ever been because he's played so little games. But you know, rest versus rust will always be the argument. But okay, and then so and then Pau, he injects a Johnson and Johnson a day before the start of the NBA finals, and, and he can do everything. <laughs> and all bets are off. 
Oh my goodness. And he can just have that booster later on too. That's gonna be crazy. But uh yeah, uh we're what's the next one, Carlo? You got this one. Uh, the president will declare that blank will be the 2021-2022 NBA finals MVP. So given my matchup, I'm gonna go with KD, man. I'm gonna go with Slim Reaper. I think you know, put him in that situation. He always shows up. I think he's going to have a, a great finals, given they make it that far. A great playoff run altogether. It could be something epic. So I think KD's locked in. Yeah, you know, uh, I don't think anyone's going to argue with that particular call. Uh, you know, there will always be those Steph stands out there who'd be cursing you out right now. But, you know, regardless, <laughs> I, I, I actually want to poke fun at another fan base here. That This is because of our head writer, who's a hardcore Lakers fan. Gabe, how far will the Lakers go this year? Ooh. Is AD back? I mean... That's a question, ooh, right? Uh, yeah. Question mark, right? You know, LeBron is playing out of his mind. I, mm-hmm. I didn't even hear him right there in that MVP talk. Uh, you know, if, if AD doesn't come back, you know, healthy, it's going to be tough. You know, maybe first round you know given depending on their matchup uh, really depending on the matchup but are they playing team i don't think so i don't think so i I think they'll figure something out i think they'll get to a series right away but i I don't think they'll be playing gabe how about my mavs i just (laughs) i I just i just had to sneak it in man i I just hope i just hope they get it together too yeah it's one of those things it's 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 the talent, the talent level, maybe not one to 15 or 16 isn't the, the same as the rest of the, the Western Conference, but they have star power, man. Luca, Luca makes plays. He shows up in the playoffs. So, you know, hopefully it's one of those situations kind of similar to last year, right? It seems like they picked yeah. up steam as it went. Yeah. They got to get in. They got to get in first. You know, I I, I want I wanted to have like this one last bonus question, but we don't have time for it. I'm going to let you sleep on this, though, because there's a real possibility that we're not going to have either Damon Lillard or Luka Doncic in the All-Star game because of how their seasons have gone so far. Who makes it over the other? Because I have a feeling that's something to think about. 